Cubic Bezier's are a great way to take fine control over our CSS animations. This is because Cubic Bezier's are essentially animation timing functions. But instead of the usual linear, ease in and ease out values, Cubic Bezier's offer loads of customization through these four numbers. But what exactly do these numbers mean? I'll explain this shortly. If we change these four numbers, we get some very interesting behaviors from our animations. For instance, let's say we change the values to 0 0.8, 1, 0 0.7, and 1.5. We can now see a marked difference in how the animation plays out. This allows us that fine control and opens up more options for our CSS animations. So, how does a cubic Bezier work? The four numbers are actually x and y coordinates on a graph. If we draw out our standard graph with axes, we will see that the horizontal x-axis is actually the time parameter. The vertical y-axis is our acceleration or motion, hence the term animation timing function. Once we have our time acceleration graph, we can plot curves and lines to visualize this motion. These curves are made using two handles, exactly like when we draw curves in Adobe Illustrator, for example. The XY coordinates of each handle are the four numbers that go into our cubic Bezier, X being time and Y being acceleration or motion. Changing the positions of the two handles changes the shape of the curve, which then affects how the motion plays out. It's that easy. Looking at this curve that's been produced, we can visualize how the animation will play out. We start by decelerating, then we move fairly constantly, and then we speed up towards the end. So, let's take this cubic Bezier with 0, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 1. Remember, these are XY coordinates of the handles on our graph, which in turn determine the shape that gets drawn between them. And then this shape determines the motion of the curve. We can speed up, slow down, and do everything else in between. Now, here's an important point. Notice how our second handle's y-coordinate has a value of 1.5? This causes the animation to push up or pop beyond the limit of 1 on our graph. But take note, only the y or acceleration value can go beyond 1. This is simply because acceleration can go both ways, that is, speed up or slow down. But time always moves in the same direction. It can't go backwards. Well, at least not in our known universe. But this is why we can set our y values to more than one, but not the x values. So the next time you're using a cubic Bezier, you'll know exactly what these four numbers mean. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.